gentlemen, we are in Falls Park in Belfast. This is Feel and Fubble, Ireland's biggest community art festival. And this is Championship Boxing, brought to you by Conlon Boxing and Top Rank Incorporated. We're broadcast live on Fight TV and across the USA on ESPN+. And this is 10 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBO Intercontinental Super Lightweight Crown. Sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, our steward in charge, Mr. John Williamson, MBE, and the World Boxing Organization. President Paco Valcarcel, our supervisor, John Handelar. At ringside, our three scoring judges. From England, Howard Foster. From Spain, Agapito Gomez. And from Scotland, Victor Laughlin. Our timekeeper from Northern Ireland, Dale Elliott. And in charge of the action, star referee from England, Mr. Steve Gray. And now, ladies and gentlemen, time to meet the boxers in the red corner, winning red with silver trim. On the scales, nine stone, 13 pounds, 8 ounces, or 139.5 pounds. A 44 fight record, 39 wins, 30 by KO, 4 defeats, 1 draw. De Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico, presentando Jose Zito, Jose Felix Iunia. And in the blue corner, wearing black and white shorts. Weighing in, nine stone, 13 pounds and five ounces, or 139.3 pounds. A 24 fight record, 21 wins, six by KO, two defeats, one draw. The former WBC International Super Lightweight Champion. They're really up for this. They've not seen anything that, that, that gives them any fear about McKenna and they feel that we're going to get to him later on. And maybe a signal of his intentions there, Felix, because he gave McKenna one south of the border. That was relatively deliberate, I think, as well, up close. I think he did know what he was doing there, Felix, and that's a little bit of a statement in itself. He's telling McKenna that he is not going to be bullied here. He is not going to be intimidated, not by him and not by the circumstances, the crowd, not by anything. And Steve Gray just telling him to keep those punches up. A little bit of left hand there from McKenna. As Alex said, he is capable of keeping it long and using that jab and employing some technical boxing skills. Generally speaking, that isn't what he does. He gets into range there, sets his feet and then looks for the body with that left hand. And with this atmosphere, you... you you tend to go with the feeling that he is going to come for a wall, he is going to give the fans entertainment. With Felix, I worry about him a little bit. I know it's on the scales, he weighed in at 135. Maybe that could be a factor in, in natural size, natural weight. Oh, that's a good left hand. The counter there from McKenna. Felix was just reaching with the jab a touch. Heading into the final minute of oh. round one, nice right hand there from Felix, just caught McKenna as he was spinning off left hand on the inside from the Mexican there too, got good purchase on that, right hand lands as well and a strong finish to the round here from Jose Felix, McKenna took both of those well enough but they're solid shots. You have to be careful about getting carried away with landing bombs on a Mexican because if you don't get rid of them, you're going to drain yourself and they're going to still be there, they're going to be putting it on you. Well, we've seen some huge wins for Mexican fighters in British rings. Mauricio Lara, Gabriel Valenzuela, takes a tip, trip to the campus there, Felix, and the count is taken up by referee Steve Gray. I'll be interested to see that one again. I, I think was something, a little soft. I think something did land, but the feet got in a tangle. It's a question of whether a punch started the the fall there of Felix or not we'll see that between rounds I'm sure but ultimately it was given as a knockdown and so that will make this a 10-8 round for Tyro McKenna a round up until that point I would say that Felix was getting the better of so that's a a key moment in the opening three minutes because there was plenty there I think in the right hand 
to the head. I think the body shots will have more effects as the fight goes along. And that would have been a 10-8 round for McKenna. The judges at ringside, they cannot disregard the knockdown that is given. You can try and hedge it if you're judging the fight and, and turn it into a 10-9 rather than a 10-8. The argument being that you feel the fighter did enough in the rest of the round to, to cut the deficit, but they would have to acknowledge the knockdown. That's just how that works. Start of the second round, Felix in the red and white, McKenna in the black and white. Lively opening three minutes. Felix has a more of a more of a looser stance, looser looser guard than most typical Mexicans that we've seen coming up coming over. So as he's trying to close that range down with, with McKenna's reach, he could find a lot more gaps, a lot more spots to catch him with counters on the way in. Good looking jab there from McKenna. Waiting for an opportunity to step in, Felix. You can you can see it. He's standing just out of range of McKenna's jab. McKenna gets up close there and looks to try and let his hands go. Left of the body there from Felix, and this is already a good fight. Left hand there from Felix landing. McKenna threw one back. That time referee. Jab there, McKenna, more of a range finder. At least with a one two, he wasn't within distance there. He weren't quite close enough. But have Felix controlling the range much better this round. Felix just steals a little bit of space there and landed the right to the body, then the right hand over the top. forward with that front foot. Good left hand there from McKenna. And he just got his feet in the tangle there. Felix took a, a step backwards, landed the left hand though as he was moving off to his left. His range is really good this round. That's the difference from McKenna, isn't it? He's yeah. found that range in the second. There's that right hand. He steps onto the inside there, Felix and lets those hands go, and when he does that, he looks like a threat. McKenna just into the ropes there, just trying to tuck up. But that, that all came from McKenna bringing his lead hand to his, to his chin. Yep. As soon as he brings his hands together there, it allows Felix to be able to take that step forward because there's no danger from that lead jab. This is warmed up very nicely already. Why is such a fan favourite McKenna? He could, he could make fights like this so much more easy for himself, but he chooses to have a tear up, he chooses to give the other man opportunity to land bombs himself. Looking for the right hand to the body there, Felix took a little step away to go, he's got with it. and then throws one straight into the pit of the stomach. There, McKenna goes down, and it was the shot. Here comes that. the count. So knockdown scored by Felix in the first minute of round three and he just plants his feet here, the Mexican, and looks to let his hands go. McKenna backed up to the ropes, he's trying to trade, looking to wrap him up now, which he's, is the right thing to do. He's just got to be smart, he's got to be smart. Big right look. hand there from Felix. Looking to land a couple of huge haymakers there, Felix. Nice left hand off the back foot there from McKenna. 
And another decent left hand, but Felix just takes it without blinking. Again, whenever he has his hands in that conventional guard, stuck to his forehead or brings him into his chest, he's allowing Felix to come into range where he can, he can let go of three and four shots, and he's catching one or two clean shots straight through the middle. And Mikeda looking for the body with the right hand, that was a decent shot. Tapping with the right himself there, though, Felix, he wasn't hurt by it. And he looks for a left, nice left hand there from McKenna. These two are traded oh. some solid leather. There's a, a meaty beat as he follows up with a left. And this has been a, a bruising round. A couple of uppercuts on the inside there from McKenna. And the same punch just used again by the Belfast man who steps to his right, looks for the left hand down the middle. Good left from McKenna. And that just rocked Felix a little bit. for the body again there Felix he scored that knockdown earlier in the round remember so this is shaping up to be a 10-8 round for him nice combination there from the Mexican as he slides off towards the neutral corner he's completely abandoned the jab this round completely abandoned it again well three rounds in what has happened already? McKenna with a knockdown that was called in the first round. Felix with round three. He was here before that. Look, it's happened to Jim. He was here before that. He missed the shot that did the damage. Back to the corner there after, after such a, a well controlled previous round to go out there and, and cheat completely to do that. I'd be fuming with you getting such a mouth block made there in that corner because I was just saying that was a good shot there again. I was just saying how he could make this so simple just by using that jab, just by using that bit. So into the fourth is scheduled for 10, that vacant WBO Intercontinental Super Lightweight title on the line. And it's been eventful so far, a knockdown each, so a couple of probably went. McKenna, good right on the inside there too, and the inside there too, and McKenna just planting those feet, looking to try and work the body with his right hand, but at that kind of range, it's favouring Felix really, that's where he wants it, he knows that McKenna has got that height and reach advantage, but we can talk about that until the cows come home about how he could keep it on the outside he's not going to do it yeah listen as, as, as a trainer yeah I'm, I'm saying he should be doing this or doing that but listen as a fan this is what I want to see what a fight this is this Left is what we want to see McKenna. we want to see somebody tearing it up and Felix just goes to the body with that right as I said he was training for a fight he was in the gym left hand there from McKenna and you can tell because he's in decent shape sharp the forearm behind the elbow there of Felix he lands that right and then rolls away to his left hand side McKenna just digging those toes in found good distance there he does get leverage taller fighters often do when they fight up close like this just managed to smother the right hand to the body there from Felix McKenna and then Rattles a couple off to the rib cage himself. Both of them looking downstairs often. There's that little dig to the pit of the stomach there from Felix. That's a good shot for him. Mexican looks for it again there. Side with that left. Oh, shot. 
little bit unsteady there, Felix, as he wanders off to his right-hand side. McKenna senses that, he's looking to pour it on. Felix, though, keeps that head on the move. What's and then fight? comes back with an uppercut himself, followed by a left hand. McKenna just felt that he might have buzzed him slightly on the opposite side of the ring. It did look that way, but he got his wits back about him very quickly there, Felix. This is a gruelling fight, a tough fight. Four rounds in almost, and this has put a dent into both of these, you would imagine, so far. Oh, it's a terrific round between these two. stood up to the test in good fashion McKenna just looking to try and get the crowd going even more <laughs> well, you know he's not coming out to box on his, on his back foot absolutely not this is gladiatorial stuff and McKenna he looks upon this squared circle as being his coliseum he wants to give entertainment every single time he goes in there and Jose Felix is cut from that exact same cloth nice long left hand there from McKenna Felix trying to find that left to the body. Something he's done well in Mexico throughout the fight is just vary up the weight of shot. You'll just see him tap a little bit sometimes and then really sink one in. And that's experience is about, you know, with the amount of fights that he's had and the people he's been fighting, he's picked that up as, as, as he's gone on. A good right hand there from McKenna and then went up the middle with the uppercut. Just leaning on Jose Felix. And he's moved up through the weights throughout his career. Hasn't been boxing at super lightweight. That long left hand again there from McKenna and just pushes him back into the ropes. Trying to impose that physicality on him if he can. I'd like to know what McKenna weighs on fight night. He's a good shot. Good combination on the inside there from McKenna. Felix is looking to try and tuck up right above oh. us. Left hand gets through there from McKenna, but Felix comes back with one and they just fall into a clinch. Felix was looking to try and just dig to the body there with his right into the final minute of round five. McKenna looking for the jab that time as he just puts his man back towards that red corner trading lead hands there good combination from the there found good distance Felix just backed up to the ropes but he took that pretty well and again there's been a lot traded in this fifth round, McKenna with a little step away to his right, who was trying to send the left hand straight down the middle into the body again another good combination from McKenna who has manoeuvred Felix around the ring pretty well at times here Dave he's having a solid round here McKenna yeah he's, he's imposing his strength and his size on him here genetically where, where we all think that they must struggle but they don't actually struggle they're quite comfortable he hasn't he's never chose to do that so he must be open for it dare I say it, he's enjoying it Felix right at the start of the round there just climbs into the left hook I think he maybe thinks he needs to come out at the start of this round and try and impose himself because as you mentioned McKenna just physically got on top of him a little bit in that fifth round at times managed to corral him around the ring and find decent distance he's always got something to say Felix 
there's never an argument between these two where he doesn't have some kind of input into it and he's taken everything that McKenna has had to give him so far and taken it well this is the kind of fight that he would have wanted he would not have wanted the taller man to try and keep it on the outside and use that jab and set him that kind of problem yeah and you know what as well that can be a, that can how this fight has turned out could be really disheartening for Felix because he'll have expected that he'll have had to chase him down work you know once he gets on top of him he'll have felt that he'll have been the one that's in control but McKenna's in control he's going to feel as though the you know the confidence will start draining away from him it's a good combination now from Felix and then just roll the way to his right hand side throws off another combination and then just looks to find a little bit of space McKenna trying to get onto that jab in the center of the ring for the most part nice left hand there went downstairs and then switched it up top over the guard a good combination once more there from McKenna who's finding the target with more regularity more accuracy now as much snap maybe about these punches from Felix in this sixth round nice right there from McKenna just managed to lasso that one in around the back of the guard almost and leans in on him again pushes him back into the ropes final minute of round six he came out quick at the start of the round Felix I think he wanted to try and get some initiative back but McKenna has wrested it back from him since then this is another strong round from the Irishman as I say Felix always in it always throwing and McKenna just getting on top of him these last couple yeah there's a lot less even exchanges now in the fight Felix keeps coming back with something but, but it's, whereas earlier on in, in the rounds there was a lot more 50-50 exchanges both landing good shots both landing eye-catching shots but but shots that are having damage on the on the opposition now it's not so much Good left hand from McKenna, found the distance for that one nicely. Felix though was just taking his weight back pretty effectively. Bell goes at the end of the stick. Felix around with that jab now. Even though they're not all landing, they're moving around, they're making him, now his legs are a bit heavier, he's tired from, from the fight, he's having to put a lot of miles on those legs now. Took a good right hand there McKenna, Felix just with a step to his right, got some good power on it, but McKenna took it without any real problem, and I think that is the difficulty, as you alluded to in the previous round, for Felix, is that he would have wanted this fight at the close quarters, he would have backed himself to win that kind of a fight, but that's not the way this is turning out, not just at the moment anyway. See, McKenna's controlling the fight without burning much energy there. He's having a little breather himself, but he's making Felix work quite a lot in evading the shots. Yeah. 
Miller straight down the middle then turned it into the uppercut going to the body there Felix but was caught with a left hand to the head by McKenna into the oh, final minutes of round seven and another left hand there just staggers Felix back towards that red corner his own corner good sharp jab it's a nice boxing from McKenna it's very intelligent what he's doing just flung that up from the waist, generated a decent bit of power with it, then went to the body. But again there, Felix, landed the right hand, and bell is gone, or a bell is gone, that's early, it wasn't the official bell, I'm not quite sure what happened there, but as the right hand comes in there from Felix, who takes advantage, McKenna comes back with a, a left, McKenna just walks it slightly as that left right hand landed and there does go the bell So another round like that for me, and then a big finish down the stretch, he could get him out of there. So into the eighth, Tyro McKenna in the black and white, Jose Felix in the red and white, the vacant WBO Intercontinental Super Lightweight title on the line. but McKenna managed to drop the elbows yeah. on it. Nice right hand there from McKenna, just dipped through it. Then the right hand came oh. back from Felix, and they both land simultaneously almost there. Left hands from the pair of them. Just wants to try and lean on Felix a touch there, take something out of the reserves in, in that way. Midway point of the round, left hand there from Felix, just slipped over the top of McKenna's head. I mentioned that he has been in the gym, Felix, but the fact of the matter is that he has still taken this at short notice. And that is not to be underestimated. No. With that in mind, this is a serious shift he's putting in here. Yeah, it's putting put a great for us. Brilliant fight. Nice combination there from McKenna. But again, Felix takes it well enough, tries to come back with the right hand, looks for the body. That was a nice little body shot line as well. And again. He's still, he's still, he's still having his successes. Well, he has done all the way through the fight. And this with the right hand there, Felix came round a little bit square, but just rolled off to his right. Double jab, left hand there from McKenna. Moved the feet in nicely. Straight nice. left hand from McKenna was a good, solid shot, and Felix just beats his chest and invites him in for more it's been that kind of a fight right from the start he just comes off the right hand
well and truly fallen in Belfast. This is a Thaler fight night, Falls Park. So into round nine, two to go here. The schedule for 10. Felix with a better round in that previous round. Maybe did enough to take that one possibly. back to, to McKenna's size and, and people talking about how does he make that weight there cannot be any struggle to make that weight no real struggle because you look at look at the the volume of punches that he, he puts out in each round you look at the shots that he takes you know he even gets when he gets hurt to the body he gets back up and he carries on you, you could forget that he's been dropped to the body in this fight you know he, he is very very strong at that weight for himself to be able to perform like this it's just a he just must be a freak being able to make the weight being that big Right hand there from Felix, he's having some good success on the inside there, just keeping those hands nice and busy. McKenna's been down the stretch a load of times as well. Six stoppage wins out of his 21 victories. So he knows exactly what it takes to go the full 10 rounds. He's picking some lovely little shots. Doubling up on that left hand, he'll throw a body shot and then switch it over to a straight. Big left hook there from Felix, who was aimed but not landed. And he's just taking a little bit of a walk there, the Mexican, and no knockdown. Just the tangle of legs towards the blue corner over on the far side. way and then really let that one McKenna to step in and, and try some more of the same trying to demonstrate to him that he's got plenty Felix, there was no escape, I don't think, really, no. from the life in the prize ring, and that is exactly what McKenna has chosen as well. As outlined, he had other three, four, five, six, seven, I think, were fairly clear McKenna rounds, eight and nine were closer. Certainly, good right hand there from from Felix, who's just backed up into the ropes and set his feet there and really let that one go. Moving his jaw a little bit there, there's a bit of blood I think in the mouth there too of, of Jose Felix who was just working that jaw slightly which can obviously be a sign that there might be a touch of damage. Good left hand there from the oh, followed by a right and those are very well placed punches and the, the snap just seems to have gone out of Felix, I think maybe he has been hurt by something from McKenna, maybe there is a little bit of damage to that jaw, to the inside of that mouth midway stage of round 10, either that or he's come out firing oh, and shot oh, his ball, lovely shot. uppercut there from McKenna, 
and I thought for a second that the knees might dip there from Jose Felix that was very very well timed and as I said before what an effort this is by Felix taking this fight at a couple of weeks notice making the journey over he was ready to rumble and boy as he rumbled really digging in here Felix because he looked in a touch of trouble to me midway through the round but he knows that the finishing tape is in sight here left hand there definitely left was low that hit him around about the thigh but the referee lets it go nice one two there from McKenna perfect view of that from side on you could just see the distance that McKenna got he doesn't chase it in he gets his feet exactly where he needs him to be final few seconds and McKenna just raising Oh, his gloves to the crowd, looking to sink in one more left hand. The crowd on their feet around ringside at Falls Park because they have been royally entertained here by Tyrone well, McKenna fine. and Jose Felix. It's McKenna who's going to pick up the win here. It was very, very... Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has our boxers. And before we declare the results, a fantastic 10 rounds of championship boxing, please, your appreciation for both our boxers in the ring. We go to our judges' score totals, Judge Howard Foster sees the contest 97-91, Victor Laughlin 97-92. Agapito Gomez, 99-91, all in agreement. The winner now, the WBO Intercontinental Super Lightweight Champion from Belfast, Tyrone McKenna. <laughs>